Hey, Christy here with Mind Your Wire. Thanks for being with me. I'm always excited to be on here and to be able to talk to everybody. And um, go ahead and subscribe and like if you haven't. I always appreciate that. And um, today what I'm talking about is a level of panic and fear and anxiety and judgment that's sweeping across our world and specifically our country right now. I'm in the United States. And um, while I have a lot of um, people, a lot of people who follow me and watch me that are citizens of the United States. I've got people all over the world, and I think this applies everywhere. Panic and judgment and fear and all of these things that happen when, you know, things start to change. And so right now, America is coming into a period of time where there's elections and things like this going on, and like the big elections, right, for our president. And, um, you know, agree with whoever, disagree, whatever your stance is on any of this stuff. If panic and fight and flight and anger or judgment take over we got a bigger mess going on than just who we elect yes and so one of the things I wanted to talk about is how do you stay out of that how do you keep yourself vibrationally in a place where you can make decisions on whoever you want to elect or vote for or whatever you can make your decisions about whatever you think but you can keep yourself vibrationally in tune and in alignment with yourself as a spiritual being, with yourself and what you believe in, in a higher level and a higher regard than has anything to even do with the elections, right? Because internally, this is more important that you take care of you than anything else. At the end of the day, if you are not taking care of yourself and keeping your internal makeup you're going to end up getting sick. Yes. And so that's just the way it works. So what I'm talking about and we know level of levels of fight and flight, panic, fear, judgment, anger, hate, depression, anxiety, all these things go hand in hand inside your body. You're producing chemicals. We're producing cortisol, adrenaline, and all these neurochemicals and hormones that make up those feelings inside your body. They also tear your body apart. They're also, the substance that makes up matter if that makes any sense they're the substance that make you feel heavy and weighty and like like you're no good like you you can't get through something they're the substance that put like bricks on your feet i don't even know how to say it adrenaline and cortisol make you feel so heavy and weighty it's what makes you trudge through life does that make sense if you're not in levels of cortisol and adrenaline, what are you in? Think about that for a second. If you're in oxytocin and serotonin and higher level chemicals and hormones and you feel better, what does that do for your body? Across the veil or across, you know, you know, maybe in a quantum way we can say, they make you feel lighter. They make you feel more airy, more open, more loving, more giving, right? Instead of attention seeking, your attention serving. It's interesting, isn't it? And so if you go into levels of panic and fight and flight and fear and whatever because of the elections coming up and you lose your internal compass, you lose your ability to keep yourself at a level of chemical saturation that keeps you happy, that keeps you okay, and especially with yourself. Not only do you lose yourself, you lose your ability to even help others around you. You lose your ability to stay in control. And not control meaning like you're controlling and pushing things around the way you want it to go. It's an internal kind of control that equates with surrender. And it's the kind of thing that when you are in this kind of control, you have fully surrendered. It's so interesting. If you stay in the levels of panic and fear and fight and flight and you trudge through the next six or seven months, it's going to be tough. And at the end of those months, if you end up sick and you end up in a position where, you know, it's just made life harder than it was worth, you're going to have to stop and think, wow, what do you do different? I'm going to tell you what you can do different right now so you don't have to go down that road to start with. First of all, breathe. Breath is so important. And it's such an amazing thing that we just skip over. And what I tell people that are really struggling is every hour for three minutes, do some breath work. Huge breaths in, 
really try and expand at your rib cage open that rib cage up and then nice long deep exhales that by itself is going to bring your system back into an assemblance of coherence all by itself you can start to bring yourself back into coherence if you do it enough and stay on top of it and people will get to feeling better and then they'll quit the practice don't ever quit the practice you have to do this every day we are beings that work on oxygen and you need to oxygenate your cells and it does more for you than that it does all kinds of cool stuff for you so breathe right breathe that's the first thing the second thing i would say to do is get yourself into a whole brain state using your posture i teach classes on this all the time using your posture you can put yourself into a whole brain state easily and if you want the link to a seminar i did i'll post it below so you can go grab that link and watch that because it teaches you how to use it and even spot tree issues it's so easy to get yourself into this place where your brain will function better and in that higher level function in that whole brain state we raise the chemicals inside your system you get more oxytocin you get more of those good things that make you feel lovely and wonderful and just i mean it's just more yummy right so you're going to breathe and then you're going to learn how to get yourself into a whole brain state it's very very easy this is not hard and complicated and it's not something that you should have to pay a ton of money to do the next thing you're going to do is you're going to learn how to get into heart coherence heart coherence will do so many things inside your physical body and when your heart is coherent with your brain it's so cool how all of a sudden your body will start to naturally heal itself so many things are triggered in the system when your heart and your brain are in coherence and after that we bring your gut into it there's a level of gut coherence too your gut has a brain right everything is producing its own set of chemicals and when they're aligned and working together and every one of those places is also aligned with the energy centers of your body how crazy interesting is that and if you haven't become aware of this or heard of this it's the idea of the chakras right that we know about and we've heard about and we always thought it was some kind of mystical woo woo and it turns out it's not like this is stuff that will really change your life when you learn how to interact with it when you learn how to turn those centers on and get energy flowing through them you are an energetic being and the energy that you're producing comes right now because of the physical body you're in by way of the chemicals and hormones that your body's producing because of what's going on in your life what you allow what you disallow what you let upset you what you let let take you away and put you into total awe and just fascination with your world so i hope that makes sense it was a lot of stuff right there but that's the steps i would take through it it's what i teach all the time if you're interested in coming to a seminar a live seminar i'm going to have one soon here in um, utah up around park city click below um, leave a comment I'm, one, I'm curious how many people would be interested in doing that where i teach all of this at the same time and get you going in a direction raise your vibration so high that we actually trigger that to start and we trigger your body to self-heal and do some of the stuff that it should do should do automatically because it's just what your body does if you don't know how to trigger it that's kind of the thing we weren't taught this stuff so let me know if you're interested in that i do want to show you another one of the things that i do as i fall over personally that helps me stay in a better place so in the winter months when things are bad i'm still growing flowers i don't know if you can see that my beautiful my beautiful flower right i have a few pots of these these are gerber daisies this one's got some little like these are just now opening and it's just crazy cool i've got herbs too all the way down the length of the banister hopefully you can see that what do you do to keep yourself good especially in the winter months and especially when times are crazy and hard like our election season let me know comment below click to like um, ding the bell to get notifications for when i go live and i will be talking to you again soon